Hello everyone, welcome to Rascal's Classroom. Today we are solve a nice math problem. This question is x plus y is equal to 2, x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 82. We will find out what is the value of x and y in this math problem. It is a long math question. So let's start. This is our first equation and this is our second equation. Now solution. First of all, we have to take our first equation. This equation, it will be x plus y is equal to 2. This is our first equation. Now, I use both side whole square. So, it will be x plus y whole to the power 2 is equal to 2 to the power 2. I use both side whole square. Then, we know that a plus b whole square, it will be s square plus 2ab plus v square v it will be y to the power 2 is equal to 4 then you can see easily here x square plus y square and it will be 4 minus 2xy i just move on this 2xy in this side it will be negative 2xy this is our third equation now at this moment again i take our second equation sorry first equation it will be x plus y is equal to 2 now at this moment i use both side cubes so x plus y whole to the power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 3 now you can see here a plus the whole cube so it will be a cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square plus y to the power 3 is equal to 8 according to this formula a plus b whole cube is equal to this now you can see here x to the power 3 plus this y to the power 3 then at this moment you can see here 3 x y is common so this divide this it will be x plus this divide this it will be y is equal to 8 now you can see easily here x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 plus 3xy times we call our first equation x plus y is equal to 2 this is our first equation x plus y is equal to 2 now at this moment i put this value here so it will be 2 is equal to 8 now at this moment you can see easily here x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 is equal to 8 minus 6xy i just move on this will in this side 2 times 3 it will be 6xy this is our fourth equation but recall remember that our third equation it will be x square plus y square is equal to 4 minus 2xy this is our third equation this is our third equation now i multiply both equation because of that we need x to the power 5 y to the power 5 because of that our second equation x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 82 now this time this is equal to what so i multiplication i multiply third equation and fourth equation now you can easily this time this is equal to what so this will it will be x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 times this will it will be x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 is equal to this value will be 4 minus 2 x y and this value will be 8 minus 6 x y now this time this is equal to what so you can see really here this time this it will be x to the power 5 2 plus 3 it will be 5 because of that basis saying this time this it will be x square and y to the power 3 and this time this it will be x to the power 3 y square and this time this it will be y to the power 5 is equal to 4 minus 2 x y and here 8 minus 6 x y bracket now at this moment you can see here x to the power 5 plus this will y to the power 5 and here x square plus y square is common so here x square y square is common so if i take x square 
and y square this divide this it will be x and this divide this it will be y is equal to 4 minus 2xy times 8 minus 6xy now equally here x to the power 5 y to the power 5 our second equation it will be 82 this is 82 plus x square y squared and we know that our first equation x plus y will be 2 is equal to 4 minus 2xy times and it will be 8 minus 6xy now at this moment you can see really here 2 is common so if i take 2 is common so 82 divide 2 it will be 41 minus this divide this it will be x square y square and here 4 minus 2 x y times bracket here is 2 is common so if i take 2 is common here so it will be 4 minus 3 x y then you can see that this two this two cancel out so we'll find out here we'll find out here i solve this question step by step but it's a long method so here 4 1 x square y square so 41 plus x square y square is equal to 4 minus 2 x y times 4 minus 3 x y now you can see really here 41 plus x square y square and here 4 times 4 it will be 16 so you can see it will be 16 minus 4 3 4 times 3 so it will be 12 x y 12 x y then you can see this 2 times uh, this 4 it will be 8 x y and this 2 times this 3 it will be plus 6 x square y square now at this moment here is x y this is x y this is x y this is x y so let x y it will be u so you will let x y it will be u so you can see here 41 and it will be u square is equal to 16 minus 12 u minus 8 u plus 6 u square because of that we are let x y it will be u now you can see here this value it will be 6 u square and this it will be minus 20 u and you can see this value it will be plus 16 <coughs> and if i move on this value in this side it will be negative u square and negative 41 is equal to zero now you can see really here 5u square so i take here is 5u square 6u square minus u square it will be 5u square then you can see really here minus 20u and it will be minus 25 is equal to 0 41 minus 16 it will be minus 25 now at this moment you can see really here uh, if i divide both sides by 5 so we'll find out it will be u square minus here 5 u so it will be 4 u and it will be 5 is equal to 0 now at this moment i do middle factor here so it will be u square minus 4 u i can see it will be 5 u plus u minus 5 is equal to 0 the product of 5 5 times 1 it will be 5 now 5 minus 1 it will be 4 then you can see here u is common so if i take u so u square divide u it will be u 5 u divide u it will be 5 and plus 1 is common so it will be u minus 5 is equal to 0 then you can see that this uh, product it will be u minus 5 is common so it will be u plus 1 is equal to 0 so we'll find out here is two case our first case is equal to u plus 1 is equal to 0 and other case we'll find out u minus 5 is equal to 0 now at this moment you can see here u is equal to negative 1 and u is equal to 5 
but recall we are let u is equal to x y so x y is equal to minus one x y is equal to five now we are find out x minus y is equal to what because of that our first equation x plus y is equal to two now x minus y is equal to what so i can easily here x minus y whole to the power two you know that it will be x plus y whole to the power two minus four a b according to this formula we will find out that x minus y is equal to what so this x plus y will be two to the power two minus four x y x y is negative one and now at this moment you can easily here 4 plus 4 minus minus it will be plus 4 then we are find out here is x minus y whole to the power 2 is equal to 8 then if I use both sides square root we are find out here is x minus y it will be 2 square root 2 but it is plus minus 2 square root 2 but other case here x plus 2 x plus y is equal to 2 then x minus y whole to the power 2 is equal to x plus 2 whole to the power 2 minus 4 a v then you can see that it will be 4 2 to the power 2 will be 4 4 times 5 it will be 20 then we'll find out x minus y whole to the power 2 is equal to minus 16 then if we use both sides square root it will be x minus y is equal to plus minus 4 i this is the imaginary part imaginary number because of that we know that square root 16 times square root negative 1 so square root 16 it will be 4 square root negative 1 it will be i now we are find out the value of x and y in this mass problem so okay let's start here our first equation uh, it will be x plus y is equal to 2 now at this moment you can see here is x minus y is 2 value so x minus y it will be 2 square root right take positive value then again you know that our first equation x plus y it will be 2 but x minus y it will be negative 2 square root 2 i take positive value i take negative value now other case here you can see easily here x plus y our first equation it will be 2 but in this case x minus y is equal to positive 4i then here x plus y is equal to 2 but it is our first equation but this equation it will be x minus negative 4i now we are find out the value of x and y in this mass problem now you can see easily here uh, if i add both equation so you can see easily here x plus x i add both equation so you can see the x plus x it will be twice x but plus y minus y will be zero but this plus this it will be two plus two square root two yes then you can see that here is twice x is equal to two is common so this divide this it will be one this divide this it will be square root two then this two this two cancel out we are find out here is x is equal to one plus square root two but at this moment uh, if I subtract both equation here, this minus this is equal to what? So I subtract both equation x minus x it will be zero. But y minus minus y is not zero because of that minus minus it will be plus y. I subtract so minus minus it will be plus so it will be two y. So two y is equal to two minus two square root two. Now you can see here two y. And you can see here 2 is common so this divide this it will be 1 this divide this it will be square root 2 then this 2 this to cancel out you can see here y is equal to 1 minus square root 2 so we are finding out here is y is equal to 1 minus square root 2 so this is first case but other case here x plus y is equal to 2 x minus y is equal to negative 2 square root 2 so again i subs i add both equation x plus x it will be twice x and y y it will be 0 then it will be 2 and if i add this equation it will be 2 square root 2 because of that plus minus it will be minus now at this point if i divide both set by 2 we we'll find out x is equal to 1 minus square root 2 I divide both sides by 2 then again I subtract both equation I mean this minus this it will be 2y 
is equal to 1 plus 2 square root root. Why plus? Because of that minus minus it will be plus. Then if I divide both sides by 2, we will find out y is equal to 1 plus square root 2. Yes. Now others case. This image in it what? Complex number. Here, so x plus x, I add both equations. It will be twice x. But this plus this will be 0. But this plus this is equal to 2 plus 4i. Now add this one equation easily twice x is equal to 2 is common. So 1 plus 2i. Then this to this to cancel out. Here is x is equal to 1 plus 2i. Now at this moment you have to subtract both equation. Uh, you can easily this x minus this x it will be 0. But y minus minus y is not 0. It will be positive 2i. Minus minus it will be plus and it will be 2 minus 4i. Then if I divide both sides by 2 y is equal to 1 minus 2y yes now other case here x plus y is equal to 2 and x minus y is equal to minus 4y then if i add both equation so it will be 2x is equal to 2 minus 4i i add both equation so at this moment if i divide both sides by 2 x is equal to 1 minus 2i now if i subtract both equation so equals easily here this x minus this x it will be zero but y minus minus y it will be y minus minus y is equal to 2 plus 4i minus minus it will be plus then you can see it will be 2y is equal to 2 plus 4i then if i divide both sides by 2 we'll find out y is equal to 1 plus 2i so this is our final answer in this mass problem this is an imaginary number this is imaginary number but this is real solution so we'll find out here is x y when x is equal to 1 plus square root 2 this time y is equal to 1 minus square root 2 okay this is an interesting math when x is equal to 1 minus square root 2 this time y is equal to 1 plus square root 2 when x is equal to 1 plus 2i, this time y is equal to 1 minus 2i. When x is equal to 1 minus 2i, this time y is equal to 1 plus 2i. So this is our solution in this mass Olympiad question. This is a real solution. This is real solution. But this is complex number. This is complex number. Thank you all. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.